Okay, now we're going to create the buildings um, for all the different blocks. And we're going to do that by putting down a ROP geometry output node. And this will allow us to create each building individually based on the city block that it's attached to. So we're going to give it a name here. And then the first thing we want to do is we want to generate. So we're not going to cook it because there's nothing inside it. What we're going to do is we're going to generate this. So we right click and we say generate node. And all this does is so save and continue. So all this does is you notice the dots are now gray instead of green. So all that means is that it's waiting for something to get cooked, but it actually hasn't been cooked yet. That's why we're getting an error here um, when we select uh, one of these because nothing's happened yet. But if we double click to go in, uh, we can start to uh, the particular work item that we've chosen um, is available for us to start working. So we're going to put a poly extrude node down uh, and right in there. And you'll see there's the block over in the corner there. And we're going to we're do a block offset. So this will be, we're going to take the block and we're going to insert that, or sorry, yeah, inset that in uh, to create the sort of sidewalk and ultimately the profile for the, for the building. Now we don't need the sidewalk part, so we're going to uh, turn off output side. And we're only going to have... The other part which is the output front and that creates the profile of the building uh, which will now extrude to create the building itself so next we're going to put down a fuse uh, just in case there's some points near the corners that are too close to each other to get rid of any confusion there we're going to do a fuse and that should give us a better result in weird in a case of a weird city block now we're going to poly extrude again, and this time uh, we can create the building height. And this is where what we're going to do is under distance, we're going to put an expression in here that actually takes advantage of those attributes we just built in the step before. So we're going to go at base height plus at, at height variation and that will give us a particular height and that height is based on the information provided uh, by the attributes up above so this particular one's you know got some good height there now the next thing we want to do is we're going to copy the parameter we're going to put uh, the height into the relative reference into the divisions and we're going to take that height and divide by 2. And because of that, oh, we have a little 1 there. We don't want that 1. Because of that, we'll get basically a, a different floor at every 2 units that we'll be using for that, for that building. So that's good. Now, in this case here, we can output groups for different parts. So the, the top of the building, we're going to call building underscore top. And the side group, uh, we can give that a name as well. And that one we'll specifically call the building side. And that can be used as we go to do our next steps, which is to add detail to this building. So we're going to put another poly extrude down, put that uh, into the network here. And in this case, uh, we don't want to poly extrude everything, so we're going to do the, the window uh, frames. This will be another offset, and what we'll do is we'll start by selecting the group here, which is the building side, and then we can set an inset value of 0 0.05. And we're going to do it based on individual elements, so each window uh, gets its own frame. And the front group is actually the window out, so those are the individual window panes, and we'll be using those in the next step. So we're going to do another poly extrude, 
And by doing these groups and, and pulling on the groups, that keeps it procedural so that later if we increase the size of the building, add more floors, everything will work properly. So now we're going to take those windows and we're going to poly extrude them back to create a little bit of depth there. And you can see that if we get close. We've got to set the display flag here, but there we go. So now we've got these window frames and the windows are sort of set back a little bit. And that's perfect. That's what we're looking for. Now, once we have that, we keep going, take advantage of the different groups to, to add more details. So we're going to poly extrude. And in this case, we're going to do the extend the roof. So way back earlier, we did the building top. So we're only going to use the building top and we're going to go up uh, 0 0.5. And you'll see we get a little bit of a extended roof up there at the top. We can continue to work on that because what we want to do is add some inset to create the parapet at the top. So we're going to call this the roof edge. And in this case, uh, we're still only working with the building top, so that'll just carry forward. So we're going to put an inset of 0 0.3 and we set the display flag, you'll see, okay, there, that's there. And then we can do one more to push it down to create the, the parapet. But this time we'll do the front group. Uh, we'll just call this the roof out. Add another poly extrude node into the mix. And up here we're going to do the roof out. And we'll go in the negative direction to push it back, 0 point, negative 0 0.25. And if we set the display flag, there we go, we get the parapet at the top. So there we go, we've created the essence of our building. And if we want to add a little more detail, what we can do is uh, tab and put that color node. And in this case here, we're going to set it to a dark gray and we're going to assign it to only the windows out. And there we go. So we've got a light gray building with, with these darker gray windows. So now if we go back up to this level at where, where we generated things, and if we want to, we can... Well, before we do that, let's set up the output file with a name. So we're going to go... We're going to, in the name, we're going to put the PDG index in there. And the reason we're going to do that is that way we can differentiate the different buildings um, when we find them on disk. So it's important to add that into your output file path. And we're going to write files, save our file, save what we've done so far, and then it's just a matter of clicking on here and cooking everything. You see it churns through that fairly quickly. doing about 19 tasks at a time, so 58 are done and 15 are on the go, and then we're done. We got a check mark to say yes, all that's produced. So we're going to get rid of the, the color there because we don't need that anymore. And we select one of those there and you come over and there is the building. So it is a direct result of the height and height variation assigned to those different places.